assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am udo technical developer in the previous video we have discussed about how to add a tree view and also a form view uh, we have uh, also talked about uh, to add a notebook on the form view also in this video we are we are going to improve this view a little bit to look it more beautiful what i want to do i want to make this view look like this one so actually Udo support uh, plain HTML and CSS also so we can design the view uh, to make it more uh, beautiful and look good so what we can do uh, we can add some uh, CSS classes and also some HTML uh, plain HTML takes uh, to make it more beautiful. Uh, what I will do, I will add a div class is equal to OE title. OE title is a, an o, a CSS class. OE title is a CSS class designed in Odoo uh, for uh, titles in most cases. So whenever you want to add a title which looks uh, more uh, highlighted, then you need to call this. You need to add this class for example if you want to add make it bigger and in the bold font then you uh, need to call this class so again label is the purpose of this is to uh, show this label uh, uh, behind before the field and um, this one is the actual field where we will import the data so label for name and for uh, is the attribute where we add the field name for which we want to add this uh, label class uh, oe edit only this is another class which means to show this label only in uh, edit uh, mode uh, for example when i click the edit button i should only see this uh, label string is the label uh, of the this uh, label and the string of this label and this is the actual uh, field so let me just copy it and paste it uh, on our form view let me just uh, remove this one and paste it here let me just add some identification this one and i want to change this as course name see you course name so uh, this will just show up only when i uh, click the edit button so let me upgrade this module so here uh, after that we will uh, see the change that we have done so let me uh, go to open academy and then open it up so we can see it has been highlighted for example let me click on the create button so i can see the course name so here I'm, i can add the course name course name and when i click save the course name label just disappear so this is the purpose of this class and this class is making it uh, a title like uh, something like title uh, uh, so and this h1 take is making it bold so we can add anything like h uh, 5 h3 so what so we can use all the html tags here so second thing we want to add the description like this one so what we are going to do uh, first of all i need to add a separator to uh, make a difference between these two so let me just copy it this is actually the separator uh, journal i can add any text here let me just add it here uh, this one journal and then let me copy this one and add it after this so this one so separator and string string means uh, the label of this separator so cold span 2 i will explain this uh, a bit later in the upcoming videos so group 
we want to add the group to organize the fields so this uh, call span uh, i will just explain it later field name is equal to description and placeholder is ida idea um, description for example uh, i will just replace it with uh, course description i can add uh, anything here this will just show up on the field to make it more to make the purpose of this field more clear so let me just upgrade this module uh, go here and upgrade the module so the module has been upgraded and let me just open up the form view this is a form view so i can see it here just made it same like this one so this is same the way we have added this one so here i can uh, just uh, make some more changes like for example if i make it uh, h3 so it will be less uh, smaller in size for example let me just upgrade it again So after the upgrade, let me open the form view again. So after the upgrade, I can see that um, here the size uh, is decreased now. Uh, you can see the clear difference between these two. So in this way, you can add plain text uh, HTML inside it. So you can just also add uh, style classes uh, inside it. For example, color is equal to red. I want to make the color uh, red so let me just upgrade this one actually uh, red is not uh, the color that I uh, should add but uh, this is just uh, for learning purposes so I want to just um, highlight the change that what we have done is uh, happening also so you can see this one you can see the change has been added so this way you can add a uh, styling like background color style equal to background color equal to i want to make it yellow yellow is again not a good choice but i just want to go with some bright color to feel the change so let me just upgrade the module and uh, then we will see the change uh, that uh, background color of this field will be yellow so let me just go here and open the form view so here i can see the background so in this way you can play around with it and also add some more uh, html and css styling uh, to make it more attractive so please uh, guys if you have any question you can comment below in the comment section and also you can join our facebook group um, whose link is given in the description if you have any questions you can ask there for help